Great win. Ravens, 34. Cowboys, 17. I almost got my prediction right. Let's get this thing started. All right. First half, man. First half, Cowboys came out there. I was like, oh, they, they showing some heart. I was like, Cowboys showing some heart for like 30 minutes. Cowboy fans, I'm just being honest. I can't stand the Cowboys anyway. You know that. But they showed heart for maybe... Yeah, but I say about 30 minutes. Then it, it it went back to Dallas. Lamar had the longest run, they said, for the quarterback on the Dallas Cowboys was a 37-yard that TD, and it was like fourth and two, fourth and one, something like that. He was telling them, I was like, that right there, that that is what that is what we need like that's what we've been missing man could have used that last week anyway boykin boykin made an appearance that i'm still kind of shocked really i'm gonna be really honest with y'all boykin made an appearance they said that was boykin's first catch and target within four games. That is, that's crazy. That is crazy. Bad news, Dez Bryant. Oh man, during the game he was tweeting, he's like, he gonna call it a year and all of that. Right, I don't know. I think he's just right right now. He's he's just really really upset, up upset and shocked and everything like that. What else was surprising too was Tucker. Tucker missed the field goal. Tucker, automatic. He missed a thirty six yarder. You know those are chip shots for him, but wow. Wow. But let me get back on task. That's wow. So for the Cowboys, I seen they they kept showing the media kept showing 2017 player with the Andy Dalton with that pass that stopped us from making it to the playoffs. I'm like, come on now. Why y'all come on now? That's not the same Ravens team. That's not he. That was the Bengals. The only thing that was common was that quarterback, but that ain't the same Ravens team. Come on, get past that. They they let Ezekiel Elliott do his thing a little bit, a little bit tonight, and I'm surprised he didn't fumble. I had him, I had him, I had him doing at least two fumbles. But he didn't fumble, so shout out to Ezekiel Elliott. Well, wow! But for his um, Cowboys wide receivers, they did pretty. I think they did pretty decent. Um, a lot of the, a lot of the plays um, where they caught it was kind of like a catch and they tackled them real fast they didn't let them get huge yak but that's that for that because I ain't going to talk about the cowgirls defense that's anyway Ravens Lamar Jackson 12 complete for 107 yards two TDs one interception that interception like Andy Dalton had interception both of them was tipped I ain't gonna really talk about that. Gus the bus. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> this man averaged 
four yards a carry. Carried it seven times, 101 yards. Lamar Jackson had 94 yards rushing. J.K. Dobbins had 71 yards rushing. Then here come the snail. Mark Ingram. And you know, Mark Ingram had 28 yards. So check this out. And I'm just not seeing this. Mark Ingram had six carries. First, I was heated. You're going to see in my reactions. JK wasn't even out there that first drive, not one bit. It went Mark Ingram, Mark Ingram. No, it went Mark Ingram, Mark Ingram. Then it went Hill for the third down. Then they punted. Excuse me? But anyway, as I was saying, Gus had seven carries, 101 yards. Mark Ingram had six carries for 28 yards. Come on now. We, we, we know, we know, us Raven fans, we know. Steve Smith clown G Road, which I'm going to do a video on that. I, I just got to get it ready. But come on. But JK was, ooh, that boy was slicing them. And they kept talking about, you know, everybody comes back from the COVID list a little, this, a little, that. Slicing them. Now, for as our wide receivers, Marquise, five receptions, eight targets. Uh, he kept trying to pass it to Hollywood a lot, but they walked in together. For those who don't follow me on Twitter, Raven underscore CEE, -E, they walked in together. And then he started trying to force it. But he did throw a dime. Did he throw a dime? He had some bad passes, but he also had some good passes. A lot of people going to concentrate on the bad because that's just Lamar haters. But that dime he threw, that was, that was great. That was great. But yeah, it really wasn't much for the passing game, but Miles Boykin caught a TD. Still shocking. But man, that first half, them boys rushed 161 yards on him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Had over, I I think pretty much 300 yards for the whole rushing for the whole game. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Almost 300, something, something like that. Man. And then they they said as well what surprised me. Oh, my boy PQ. I'm going to get on defense in a minute. But what else surprised me was... They did not punt the first half. And when they said that, it's like, yeah, it's his first punt for the game. I'm like, we in third quarter. Uh, then I started thinking about it. I was like, he didn't punt. Like, he didn't punt. <laughs> like, wow. That is crazy. But, man. And Derek Wolf, Claes Campbell still hurt, but he's out there. But he, you can tell he's not fully, fully himself yet. Brandon Williams, oh my goodness, on um, three goal line rushes. There's on the Cowboys on a one yard line. Brandon Williams, Derek Wolf, and just that D line. Oh my goodness, because Derek Wolf has been balling. I haven't been. Saying it in recent videos, but he's been balling. He had that one missed tackle in the Titans, but look at his track record. The dude's been playing solid football. But that was a wall. It took him all the way to fourth down. Then that's when Cooper caught his little TD. Great route, great route. But man, he's been balling. Yes. 
Got my early Christmas gift from the Ravens. Beating the Cowgirls. Mm. Can't wait to just rub it in cow cowboy fans' faces out here in Texas. But on to the next game, the Browns. Now that's gonna be a challenge. So y'all just tell me what you think. I almost got the prediction right. I said 35 to 10. They slept up and gave him 17, but we had 34. Hey, that's close enough. Once again, everybody stay safe. Dang, they just got the virus, man. LJ Ford almost had a pick. PQ, before I get out, PQ. That dude, he got to be a runner-up for the, for the, um, I'm looking for his stats. I can't find it. He has to be a runner-up for defensive rookie of the year. Somebody tweeted out his his season stats so far. I don't, I can't find it, but shh, touchdown, interception. I believe it was a sack, two forced fumbles, two fumble recoveries, um, the interception and the TD. And then put the tackles on there, but man, dudes, he's doing great. He has some up and down games. Everybody does, but he's doing great. But everybody stay safe. See y'all next game. See you next video. Wear your mask. Have a good one.